students welcome back let us continue with chapter 13 surface areas and volumes so we have covered the first part that is surface areas so uh, what are the surface areas that we covered for uh, which different objects we learned about surface area of cuboids cubes right circular cylinder right circular cone spheres and hemispheres so we have covered the surface areas of these different objects now we are going to move our focus to volumes of these objects starting with volume of cuboids and cubes or cubes and cuboids so first of all let us understand the term what what do you mean by volume first of all there are two different types of objects one is solid and one is hollow so when i say solid what do i mean is that if i take for example a sphere so this sphere it's not going to be empty inside but it's going to be uh, completely filled in with whatever matter it is made up of for example i can just say a ball bearing or a metal ball and another example of a hollow object of sphere is uh, take for example a ball is going to be empty inside so what is volume when i talk about solid objects i am saying that the volume is amount of space it occupies and when i say hollow so the volume for any hollow object is its capacity so what do i mean by capacity that is if i fill this hollow object with let's say water air or gas the water air or gas is going to take the shape of the object inside uh, of the object inside it right for example if this is if i cut the ball which is hollow this is the empty space so the entire space that's going to be filled inside is its capacity so this capacity is the volume So now since we are going to learn about volume of cubes and cuboids let us first draw a cube a cuboid or a cube and then understand what the volume will be like So let's say i'm just drawing a piece of rectangle I'm drawing this piece of rectangle out here So what is the volume of this rectangle going to be it's going to be this entire space right now if on this rectangle i pile up many more rectangles what will i get i will get a cube which will be three dimensional something like this this is a cuboid what we learned right so this entire space inside it is the volume so what is happening is this is the base right this part out here is the base and what is happening is the height is increasing so as the height increases the volume is going to keep increasing so what can we say the volume is of a cuboid is going to be it's going to be base area into height why am i saying base area into height because this portion out here this dimension is going to be constant that is length into breadth as and when the height keeps increasing the volume will increase so base area is going to remain constant therefore base area into height so base area is going to be what length into breadth and height we know that we can denote it by h so volume of a cuboid is l into b into h where l b and h stand for the length breadth and height of the cuboid respectively now here we have a cuboid what about a cube so if i draw a cube a cube we know that all the sides are all the edges are equal in length right so all these edges let's say have length of side a so what is the volume going to be the volume is again going to be base area into height so base area is what length into breadth which is a into a and into height which is also a so this is going to be a cube so what do we finally get that the volume of cuboids is is length into breadth into height whereas volume of cube is side cube because here all the edges are equal in length 
So this is a very short description of volumes of cubes and cuboids. We'll take a look at solved examples and exercise related to it in the forthcoming lectures. Thank you. Hope this video increased your knowledge. For more such videos and a completely free educational content, log on to www.epathshala.org or visit our Epathshala YouTube channel. We have each and every question solved for math, physics, chemistry and biology. So subscribe our channel, share with your friends, like our Facebook page and follow our Twitter handle for regular updates and important educational tips and also win Epathshala goodies. So what are you waiting for? Subscribe this channel and enjoy the freedom of education.